Here I have a simple example project in my Eclipse IDE to mimic the software design process. As soon as I have completed writing code, I will try to compile it. Compiler is the first line of defense warning us against syntactic and simple programming errors. In this case, I have made sure that the code compiles without errors. The integration of polyspace into IDEs such as Eclipse here lets me launch source code analysis as soon as I'm done writing code. In this case, I will begin with the polyspace bug finder analysis first to check for conformance to coding standards, which in this case is a MISRA standard. As you can see, the analysis is quick because of the fast formal methods used by the bug finder, and I have results showing MISRA violations and a few bugs in my code. You could either address the MISRA checks or bugs first, and a good approach would be to start with the MISRA violations. So let me highlight a couple of interesting violations here. MISRA rule 6.3 was violated here, and when I look into the details, it explains the rule violation regarding the use of type defs instead of base types. Going back to the code, I have used base types for a few variables that I need to replace with the type defs. Let's look at another rule, rule 8.10, which tries to reduce the number of externally visible objects and functions within your code. It states that all declarations and definitions of objects or functions at file scope shall have internal linkage unless external linkage is required. Going back to the code, I see that I have a few global variables here causing this violation, and a simple fix might be to declare them as local variables. I have made the required changes ahead of time, and here is a corrected version. When I run the bug finder again, I have no MISRA violations left, and all we are left with are the defects.